Have you heard of a group called Limit X? They were, they were young people here in this country. They were young people here. Trying to make a way. They were singing. But not going far. Then they came to London. They were in our house. We hosted them. They tried, they tried in London. Things were not going far. Then they had this dream to go to America. They asked me, Pastor, we feel like we should go to America. There are better opportunities for gospel artists. So I laid hands on them and blessed them. Then they applied to the, to the American. Embassy. For a visa to go as artists. They were told you cannot come in as an artist unless you have exceptional gifts. So, how exceptional are you? They told them at the American Embassy start singing now. There were four of them. Dennis Sempewa. Dennis Sempewa. Isaac Ruchibigango. Isaac. Ruchibigango. Uh, Paul, Mutebi. Paul Mutebi. And uh, I forget. My, my, my mind is 60 years old. I forget the other name. Four of them. This is, this is interview for visa. They looked at each other. They talked a little. Do you know that song? It's on their album. And one of them was doing percussion. At the embassy. At the embassy. When they finish singing, the guy said, bring your passport. Stamped them visa. <laughs> and they moved to America. And became one of the most celebrated African groups in history. Gospel artists. They have been around the whole world. Man's gift makes room for him brings them before him. If you neglect your gift, you are spitting on your destiny. For we are the workmanship of God created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared before us. Okay, let me accelerate now. Number two, key people. Key people. Your life revolves around people. After your gift, the next thing is people. Because gifts touch people. People are door openers. In the scriptures, you will see people, people, people being triggers of destiny. People. Samuel anoints David. Elijah impacts Elisha. Mentors. Uh, yeah. Friends. People make a difference. One person. God can command one person to change your life. So please be careful how you handle people. Please learn how to be good with people. Connect with people. Develop relationships. Find your mentors. Find people to serve. Find people to work with. Because I found a group of key people at university. They 
They help me develop my gifts. Amen. Some of your key people are going to bring trouble to you. As I was saying earlier, Jesus prayed all night to pick Judas. Judas was a key person. <laughs> Some of you are going to be able so it doesn't mean all of them are perfect. But there are people that God has ordained in the earth. And they are waiting for you. They are waiting for you. So as I told the story earlier, I invited a very bad preacher in my church. By the time he finished preaching, the church was angry with me. Wrong preacher. But then that wrong preacher went to America <laughs> and connected with the man and he sent me an email Pastor Lincoln you should meet this man this is his name this is his email I sent that man an email one email and his answer was you are my son today I have begotten you and today is my spiritual father he has bought me tickets multiple times. Flown me to the United States. Put me in the best hotel. Put taught me heart to heart. But I was connected by a very annoying preacher. <laughs> you understand? Somebody say key people. Key people. Look for them. When you find them, commit to them. Ruth, Ruth vowed to stay with Naomi even though she had no money. But she was a key person. Find your key people. Stick to them. Number three. What do we have? Number three. You have it? Key places. I have found in my life journey that God ordains spaces and times where he will meet with you. And if you are faithful to go where God wants you to go, your life will unfold. God said to Abraham, get out of your father's country, leave your father's house, and come to a place, and I will bless you there. God said to Elijah, go hide yourself by the brook Cherith because I've commanded ravens to feed you there. If you go anywhere else, there is no food. Somebody say key places. Hmm? Key places. Key places. Key places. Find your key places. Move around. Don't stay home all day, all week, all month, all year. Come to the conference here. Once a month. Sit down and listen. Some of you come for the conference and you end up in Chitoro all week instead of sitting here listening. Ah. Key places is where you find key people and have key conversations which will give you key insights. Number four is key insights. And you say, ah, I didn't know no, that. Gamati. And your life goes forward. Because you have learned something. Like this sermon. 
Katenga someone is a key insight. Kuyiga kwa njaulo. It saves you time. Kuku loko lero budi. Sina budi kubanyo miza. I don't have time to tell you. Insights which have saved me money. Even to even do call it the same. Let me tell Kamba you this. Kambanyo miza yoko. I, I, my associate pastor came to me one day. Omusumba kwenye kula na iya jalo muzi. And told me pastor we are in trouble. Nanga mama musumba tuli mukati abaga. We have been told. The officials may be arriving at our door as a church. We owe a lot of money. We made a mistake. We should have paid this amount of money. It was 30,000 pounds. What is that in, 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 uh, in shillings? 30,000 pounds. 150 million. 150 million. million. I said, when do they need the money? I was, they need the money now. If we don't pay now, they are showing up at the door. And there will be trouble. There was no money in the church. We are done too many fundraisings. There was no money. I close my eyes and I see a picture in my mind. Key insight. In this picture, I see Jesus and I see these men who they said are coming. And I saw Jesus do this, pushing them back. I told my associate pastor, we are not going to pay them one penny. The Lord has showed me. Pay them nothing. And he walked out. Week one, week two, week three, week four. Month one, month two, month three, month Year one, year two, year three. Year four, year five, year six, year seven. No one showed up. No one showed up. If we had paid, they would have taken the money. But the Lord showed me an insight. It then turned out that we didn't have to pay. It was wrong advice by our accountants. But if we had paid, it would have showed that we have the money. Are you there? Insights. In visions. In flashes in your mind. Now that, those are gifts of the spirit. They make way for you. <laughs> And save you trouble. When you learn to hear from God. Hello. Amen. One more story. <laughs> you need to know how to walk the Christian walk. We are supernatural people. But it starts with key gifts. Key gifts are expressed to deal with people. Huh? In key places. Did I say moments? Put key moments there as well. Key moments. Key moments. A moment comes. And you need to know what to do. Key moments. When I was uh, when I was still in my twenties. In the days of Uganda's problems in those in those nineties. Terrible life. No, was it nineties? Eighties. Eighties. Roadblocks. 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 Where they stop you? There were uh, guerrillas coming in, attacking the nation. In Talo, there was war in Uganda. So you had to walk with your identity card constantly. 
So we were stopped at the roadblock. The soldier said, Kila mutu. Get out. Furuma. So you get out and you form a queue. If you don't have your identity card, you may be shot on that day. They will take you off, put you on the side. So we got out. I did this and my identity was not there. And I'm in the queue. The men are annoyed. So I am now praying. But prayer without gifts. Is I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. So I am becoming, I'm, I'm about to get to the man. As I get to him, not knowing what I'm about to say. When I got to him, he got confused. And he turned around and he spoke to his friends. And I heard the Lord say, walk. And I walked past him. And I went back into the bus. And I sat. I said, what happened? Key moment. Key insight. Hearing from God. What do I do? The Lord said, walk. <laughs> Lift up your hand. There are gifts of God inside you. The Holy Spirit will lead you. He will tell you what to do. You need to develop your listening. I can tell you stories all day. Put your hands down. The building we have been using as a church, nobody wanted to give any churches building in London. One day, I got a key insight to appoint a woman called Gladys. And I said, Gladys, you are in charge of church growth and evangelism. Key insight. Key people. At a key moment. Gladys told me, we need a building pastor. If we are to grow, I am going to find a building for this church. I told that Gladys we've looked everywhere. There are no buildings. Gladys went off building hunting. And she showed up saying, Pastor, I found a building here in Camberwell. Come and see it. So I went and I saw the building. And there was an Indian man there who is the owner of the building. And there was an agent waiting there to be a go-between between us and the Indian man. Suddenly, the agent's phone rang. And the Lord said to me, talk to the Indian now. Well, this man is on the phone. So I went to the Indian and I said, I want your building. He said, you want my building? What do you want it for? He said, I want to lead the church here. He said, okay. Let's forget him. You and me, we talk. This one had about 10 customers. I was just customer number. He said, I want customer number. But I got a key insight at a key moment about a key place using a key gift. Are you together? 